The Barberini Palace was a fitting backdrop for the anniversary celebrations. Prime Minister Craxi welcomed ministers from seven countries to honour one of Europe's oldest but least known organisations, the Western European Union, an offshoot of NATO. Dubbed NATO's European pillar, the Western European Alliance has suddenly become a cure for all organisation, which politicians hope can do what similar pacts have failed to achieve. France would like to have a role in European security planning without rejoining the military wing of NATO. West Germany believes taking part in a military alliance that excludes the United States could help combat its growing anti-American movement at home. And for countries such as Spain, where opinion polls show that 80% of the population is against joining NATO, the WEU could provide a halfway house, giving a forum for discussing security without the uncomfortable side effects of full NATO membership. Like a happy family, that's how they look and that's how they see the future of the revitalized Western European Union. The foreign and defense ministers of the seven member countries went to great pains to stress that a stronger WEU would make a stronger NATO. At a news conference later, West German Foreign Minister Hans-Dietrich Genscher explained that the problem was not that America was too strong in the NATO alliance, but that Europe had too little weight. The Union gives the Europeans a place to discuss defence and security matters, for which there's no other forum. Many matters could not be discussed in NATO because France is not a member of the military command. And it was France's initiative that led to the rebirth of the WEU, reflecting the growing cooperation between Paris and its NATO partners. But the Europeans don't see the new alliance purely as a military organisation. They stress that it provides them with their own forum to discuss and promote peace and disarmament initiatives. But for all the great sense of occasion, it remains to be seen whether the Union will cement European thinking on defence or be just another talking shop. The students linked hands to form a peace chain which wound its way through the Italian capital and past the Houses of Parliament. The demonstration was organised by the youth wing of the country's powerful Communist Party, which opposes the use of American nuclear missiles in Western Europe. Earlier this year, there were big protests at Comiso in Sicily, where 16 cruise missiles are stationed. Saturday's marchers call for world nuclear disarmament, and they want one hour a week of the school curriculum to be given over to peace studies. They timed the protest to coincide with a meeting of the Western European Union ministers in Rome and said the WEU would bring more bombs to Italy.